guys. Um, Manny's going to get a scan done for now. Um, we're going to do uh, different scans, different times in the next day or two, and uh, check the amount of drainage that she's having to determine the success of the um, what they did to make the fluid drain off the brain uh, when they uh, as well as removing the tumor the witch was to do the same thing um, she's fighting a little pain nausea she's a little disheartened today um, she was hoping it'd be less painful at this point um, but it's not she's still having some some pressure up here um, trying to make this quick uh but overall doing good her uh, her spirits are pretty good um, like i said she's a little disheartened over that one detail fighting nausea like crazy but doctor said it would take two or three days uh, for it to kind of regulate so next couple days we'll see right the goal is to get out of here by sunday if, if it all goes well so just pray with us that that happens um she uh, has already gotten out of bed and made a round with physical therapy. She's walked around the room with help, of course, not not by herself. Um, but I do believe that she could do it. She is kind of going to, she's getting up, going to the bathroom very, very cautiously. Still help her, but I really think she can handle it on her own if she absolutely needed to. Uh, but we're just being cautious because it's the day after, right? Just one day. Uh, so just continue to pray with us and uh, thanks for everybody who reaching out and uh, just just loving on my family through this time and uh, <clears throat> we're stuck here uh, I, I can't leave if I leave I lose my caregiver status or something I don't know some weird rule so I'm kind of stuck here <laughs> with her so uh, got Lana and Sarah to bring a change of clothes and uh, was able to uh, because Sarah's a patient as well was able to get both of them in to visit with her sometime today, which was great. Um, but that's took a lot of coordination and um, <clears throat> finagling, <laughs> but we made it happen. We made it work. Um, so, and I think her dad and her sister are coming tomorrow. Uh, one of them will visit with her tomorrow and the other will visit the next day. So it's kind of where we are uh, the whole visitor thing is hard it's very hard it's very controlled um, but it's it's doable you just got to be very strategic with it but doing well you know like i said she's fighting that nausea she's not really eating well yet um, she's developed uh, this weird hiccup thing they're hoping it'll go away dealing with some numbness and all but it's starting to come back so she's really doing good as far as the doctor says she's doing amazing she's doing great so uh, continue to pray that that'll that'll continue on and she'll finish this thing strong um, this first this first round and uh, yeah appreciate all of you praying loving on us sending love sending tangible love to you um, yeah we have our our snack fund and our parking fund and all that you guys are paying that's really kind of cool I love it thank you so much it uh it makes it simple um, and it's not, you know, every time something happens or like I, there's no telling what I owe for parking right now, but, um, I'm not sweating it. It's, it is what it is. It's a, it's a necessary evil. Um, no telling. Um, well, no, I'm talking about that. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, some of you guys reaching out. Oma, um, uh, Blake, you know, some of you folks, uh, actually, so Blake actually come by and spent some time with me during the, the surgery day. And oh my, you have sent um, audio, uh, uh, audio prayers. <laughs> actually recorded himself praying over Mandy and praying for it every day up to the surgery and even after the surgery, um, which was just it's powerful and it's appreciated. Um, uh, but they're not the only ones. Michelle Mondrag and, and uh, you guys are just loving on us. And uh, you know who you are. You know what you did. Um, yeah, some folks back home sending some love, and it's uh, it's great. It actually helps. To, I never thought about the food thing, how helpful that is. But my kids are at my home right now, and they're used to being catered to. It's all our fault, obviously. Mom caters to them, cooks them all the good food. They uh, they they like they. <laughs> They sometimes, uh, it's hard for them to take care of themselves. Nah, not really. They can't take care of themselves, but they're worried about their mom and cooking and stuff. Some, so some of you guys sending meals, it's so appreciated. It's, I never really thought about that as such a big deal, but it's so, been so awesome. 
so uh, thank you for that. But uh, that's all I got for today. Um, she's doing, she's doing good. She's on the right track. Nothing negative going, you know, nothing going the wrong direction. Everything weird that's happening, um, they have somewhat of an explanation for and uh, say it should clear up and go away, right? Some tingling numbness, the hiccup thing, the neurological, some, some things happening. Uh, but she's on the right track and that's great. And uh, I feel like God's gonna bring her through this and it's gonna be a full recovery and she'll be back to good old stubborn, hard-headed Mandy um, before she knows it out there telling me what to do. So thanks guys, that's all I got for today. <laughs>